So my name is Noreen Murphy and I'm a community activist. So um, a lot of people have seen the big water protests in Ireland to, to stop domestic water charges and to stop water privatisation. So those protests were facilitated by political parties, by the trade unions and by people like me, community activists. So um, I think that was the power in the, in the protest was bringing people together who would not necessarily even know each other. Um, so um, we had nine big protests and we, we changed things a little bit, but um, I mean the objective is to have water paid for entirely by general taxation so that everybody has access to, to water and sanitation. Um, uh, when the Troika came into Ireland, they um, wanted to privatise um, the water utility, and we didn't have a water utility. We had 34 local authorities, um, municipalities that manage water services locally. Um, so they, they, they combined all the water infrastructure into one super quangle. Um, one of the first scandals was that there was 80 million euros being spent on consultants. One of the consultants was about outsourcing all the work. So this company uh, wants to, to lay off 3,000 workers and outsource the work. So you have different contractors doing different work in the water services. Um, that's ongoing. That's, that to me is really serious because you lose all the local knowledge and you have to manage water locally. Um, but like from my perspective, I want this company disbanded. Um, at the, after the last election, 32 members of parliament were elected on the water platform. But there is a 100% agreement in the parliament that we get a referendum. We have been denied a referendum. Um, so, you know, this is an affront to democracy. If you are going to deny people their right to have a voice, then you're not living in a functioning democracy. Um, water is life, and um, without it, you're going to be dead. It's, you don't have an option. There is no replacement. There is no other option, except you have to have water. So now, um, a, one politician um, proposed a wording so we, the political parties, the trade unions and people like me, we agreed at a conference a wording and, and the insertion into the constitution. So that has been presented. The minister responsible um, says that we can't use that wording, but he hasn't come up with an alternative yet. Um, he is citing unintended consequences. If if we get a referendum and if we win it with this wording and this insertion into the constitution, that means that we will have public water for everybody. Um, the unintended con the consequences are that Ireland will no longer be attractive to for-profit water industry. We have outsourced our sewage treatment plants, our water treatment plants. We've outsourced the monitoring of the sewers We've outsourced the monitoring of the mains. We've outsourced the monitoring of the drainage system. Um, we need to manage that locally. You need local knowledge. You need local expertise. Um, the, 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 the movement as a whole is dormant at the minute. It's really, really quiet in my city. We go on the street every week and we talk to people because there's been so much confusion and so much misinformation. Some people say we won. We haven't won. We have won nothing. We're really good at we're really good at throwing a party. <laughs> we need to be do we need to do better than that. Yeah, we, we, we and we can do better than that in Ireland. Um, so I mean my group in Cork in the south of Ireland, we continue with looking for a referendum. We continue informing people uh, about what's going on. Um, the, the the deal that was done with the Troika was for eventual full cost recovery. The company has so many expenses. You have layers and layers and layers and layers of management. You have a bonus culture in this company. And, um, and they've managed to mislay an awful lot of money. So um, 
I want, I want every child in Ireland to be able to have a bath. I want every grandmother to be able to flush a toilet. If we have only water for the rich, we, we cross the line morally, whereby some people have access to sanitation and some people don't.